Dude, this has been a crazy puzzle. Alright, that's... Mark? Who's Mark? Um... Definitely this one. But when it pleased God, who separated me from my mother's womb and called me by his grace. Oh, well, somehow we got it wrong. Um, okay, so we've got... I don't think we have a Mark painting. Let's meet up. I'll leave it to you to organize a rendezvous. Not today. I'm unable to do it. In the meantime, I'll follow the first group to Mark who will reveal the answer to them. Um... Pick up the Bible and shake it and let the notes fall out. Oh, that's that's actually pretty smart. Let's do that. Painting of St. Mark from the collection of the Apostles right. by Guido Rini. So we got... Little characters are engraved on the chest of drawers under the urn. The sentence in Hebrew. Choosing the Hebrew alphabet is no coincidence. It's, it's got to be a reference to the Bible. Okay, so it's Hebrew-based Jerusalem. Um, and then... There are finger marks. There was an eight. Deliberately drawn in the dust. Eight in all. But that which beareth thorns and briars is rejected, and is nigh unto cursing, whose end is to be burned. Here's a message. There are some complications. Indeed, the Prussian is insistent. What's happening at your end? Do you need help? If tonight is not possible, let's see tomorrow evening, in the south room, where we reviewed the situation. When Paul understood that only the axe counted he went back on his tracks. I await your confirmation to his left in the company of the pilgrims that have joined him. Yeah, this last comment is about their code. I should find new pilgrims near Paul. Okay. Mark, the youngest. Uh, which one were you Saint again? St. John. That's John. Painted by yeah. Guido Rin. And then this was the dude that heard angels. The drawing of the Apostle Matthew, Matthew. painted by Guido Rini. He's represented as writing the word of the Lord, transmitted by the Holy Spirit, who appears here in the guise of an angel. Hmm. St. Paul painted by Guido Rini. When Paul understood that only the axe counted, he went back on his tracks. I await your confirm. Mm. Strange. St. Paul is shown twice, unlike the other disciples. St. Paul is shown holding This was sword. the first one, so I'm guessing the other one is Strange. The... There's hardly yeah. any dust. As if the painting's been cleaned Let's go to the recently. other one. There's a small inscription engraved on the frame. Let's take a closer look. This is how Paul spoke to his pilgrims from Rome. Just above that, someone's written down the figure 11 on the painting and underlined it twice. I don't know, what does that mean?
St. Paul on the road to Damascus by Caravaggio. This painting has been hanging here for a long time. A lot of dust is built up on it. Well, a finger has drawn a number in the thin layer of dust. This is the four. The number four. Okay. Hmm. Caravaggio attained a magnificent command of black and the play of colors, too. Paul facing an ordeal, the curtains of his illusions being raised, and receives the light from his savior. So it's gotta be Paul. Um, it's gotta be Paul. Uh, oh, one sec, dudes. There we go. Oh, but where? And what's that about his left? I await your confirmation to his left. I guess I'll just come back later. Means physically. No. No. Okay. There yeah, there was no painting beside it. Either of them. Welcome to Bible study. I know, right? My god. Um Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue and if there be any praise, think on these things. Damn. Hmm. Not in the lustful desire even as the Gentiles who knew not. Is this a Christian channel now? Yes. Then they suborned men, which said, we have heard him speak blasphemous words against Moses and against God. Damn. When Paul understood that only the axe counted, he went back on his tracks. I don't understand that. Axe of what? Like... Acts is in the Bible chapter? Hmm. So. I guess I'll just come back later. The Gospel and Acts of the Apostle. He went back on his word. Let's try these. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven like a rushing mighty wind, and it filled all the house where they were sitting. Then they suborned men, which said, We have heard him speak blasphemous words against Moses and against God. And he became very hungry and would have eaten, but while they were made ready, he fell into a trance. Hey, there's a note here. A nice. message from Mother in reply to E. We must leave urgently, but first I absolutely must go beyond the nightmare. Watch out for Volner. He figured out I was avoiding him. A lay suspicion. See you tomorrow evening. 
Stand ready. For now, let's cease all communication until we meet. Take care of yourself. I suppose this must be the last message. What happened afterward? If it's what I suspect, I, I fear the worst. What did Mother mean by, I absolutely must go beyond the nightmare? I must go beyond the nightmare. What does she mean by that? Think, Guybrush, think! She likes her riddles, so I'm gonna go with this one. Clearly, she must be trying to do something useful, but, but what? The nightmare, does that remind me of anything? probably has to do with an object or something. Granting that this is the case, where might it be found? Whoa. Okay, hold on now. I can't look at my hints. Ah! I'm, okay, what, what was it? I must go beyond the nightmare. Um, can, I, can I look at this anywhere? Oh, man. I'm going to do outside the manor on the wharf. I thought it would have been over there, but something's telling me that it isn't. I better keep searching. Mortimer's getting his guests together. I missed I that. I join them so I don't look suspicious. Hmm. She capitalized nightmare. She capitalized it. Hmm. So it's got to be the name of a painting or something. Dante's Paradise. Raise your head and be reassured for what comes up here from the mortal world. Oh, we... Damn it, we failed it. Cool. Uh, four points. Let's get finally get linguistics and conviction. And with our one point left, we'll put one more point towards vigilance. Cool. Uh oh. Achievement unlocked a tragic fate. Oh, that's not good. Um. Do we have any vigilance things? No. We're not really close on anything, so I think we can just pick whatever. Yeah, we'll just have some fun with it. Uh, boop. 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 It's time I went back and joined everyone in the small salon. You aren't expected in the small salon, sir. I'll expect you in the small salon, sir. Hmm. Emily, I must speak to you. What's the matter, Louis? About last night, I'm guessing. I... Oh. Sadly, no. Even if I'd like to have... I. Alas, there are more pressing matters. I have news about your sister. What have you found out? Look, that my mom killed I her. started piecing together the events leading up to my mother's disappearance and your sister's. D did my mother know about your secret? Yes, even though I belong to the English chapter, her rank in the order gives her access to a good deal of personal information. It must have been Emma I saw in my vision. I was given to understand that my mother and your sister bonded during their stay. Is 
They kept up a secret correspondence, which makes me think they were suspicious of someone. And did you find out who it was? No, but Von Volner is mentioned. They were planning to make a quick getaway and were looking to hide something beforehand. Have you got these messages? Yes. Go ahead, take a look. I see. I must say, uh, thanks for your honesty, Louis. Should I speak to her about my vision? If what I saw is true, she might want to take revenge. Emily, there's something else. Go on, then. It's... it's about your sister. I don't know what happened exactly, but it's possible that my mother had a go at her. I know, Louis. I found out that same evening. Well, thanks for not trying to hide it. What? Why didn't you tell me? I didn't know if I could trust you. Now awesome! Now I know I can. It seems that your mother tricked Emma. She apparently asked her to hide an important book, so that even she wouldn't know where it was. And then she shot her like a dog to make sure no one would ever find it again. Why would she do that? I don't know, Louis. But I'll find out. You can count on that. I'm sincerely sorry, Emily. Yo, someone's Thank shouting. you, Louis. You're very kind. It means a lot to me. But you do realize your mother will have to accept the consequences of her acts. Th there must be an explanation, Emily. That's what we shall see. We'll speak about it later, somewhere safe. Come, Louis. They're waiting for us. You will pay dearly, Peru. I'm sure you were involved somewhere along the line. That's right. Pretend you don't know. One piece of advice. Don't travel through France on your way back, or it'll cost you dearly. Calm down, my friends. Let's calm down. Everyone seems to be a little unnecessarily oh, is that your heated. Doi? Don't forget where you are, please. What's going on here exactly? Sir Gregory called us together to introduce the last guest. But hardly had we arrived when he set upon Monsieur Peru. And what has Mr. Peru done to once again provoke someone's anger? Uh, we don't really know just yet. I get the feeling it won't be long before it gets out. How could you dare do such a thing? Dios mio, you are all out of your minds! Really, Duke Manuel? What made you kick up such a fuss? What? Have you not heard? Well, let me inform you that yesterday morning at 10.22 a.m. precisely, in the middle of the Place de la Révolution in Paris, by decree of the National Convention, which Monsieur Peru works for, King Louis was guillotined. What? Oh, no. The King of France is dead, gentlemen. Our monarchies are in danger. I have said it before. How dare they? Oh, dear. Oh, as if it's... Gracious. No, it's not the boss. Oh, it's Poland. Hmm. <laughs> Napoleon's friends, like, friends, let us calm down. <laughs> Don't pretend to be surprised. He got a fair trial. Ridiculous, bastard. He was sentenced to death by 361 votes to 360. You beheaded a king for one vote. Is that your democracy? Is that, is that real history? What an obnoxious act. Until this, anything was possible. This political coup will have grave consequences. France is lost. Gentlemen, is. please, let us take a step back a moment. In the name of holiness, he was the highest representative of God in France, Emily. Gentlemen, Duchess, we're all among people of reputable company here. We should be able to manage the conflicts of our nations in a respectful and orderly manner. I fully agree with you, sir. But sir. that's enough, sir. Sir. <laughs> with whom do I have the pleasure of speaking? Louis Maras de Richer. Are you related to Sarah de Richer? I am your dog. Sarah is his mother, Duke. Gentlemen, this news affects us all, but I must ask you to remain calm. It's not the first time history has taken us by surprise. 
Let's ensure that our respective countries are allowed to respond appropriately to this news. Oh, rest assured. The response will not fall short, my friend. Good for you. Well, Your Grace, here I was preparing to introduce you, as is proper, and you've beaten me to it. I'm delighted that we are all together at last. Our meeting will therefore be able to kick off shortly. I have just a few more little preparations to take care of before you all find out the reason for your presence here. In the meantime, I shall leave you to get to know one another. When you hear the bell, please proceed to the conclave room on my left, behind that door. I'll see you later. By the way, real quick, for those talking about the uh, graphics and animations and stuff, although this game is is certainly not an indie game, it uh, is could certainly you not a triple A, a moment, game. Please, so, sir. much more for the asked. story and everything. I want to talk to you too. Of course. Yeah. I heard about your mother's disappearance. He looks concerned. I don't know why, but I doubt it's from simply uh -oh. alone. Well, let's see what he wants from me. Any news of her? Have you found her, maybe? To hear you speak, you seem to know my mother well. Uh, not really. Uh, we met for the first time on this very spot, uh, some weeks back. Uh, we had a very pleasant discussion. She's an exceptionally learned lady, with a good head for business. Uh, no need for me to tell you that. I agree. Uh, did she tell you about our arrangement? The cat's out of the bag now. More or less, but please do, do refresh my memory. Yes, of course. Uh, nothing of great importance in itself. During one of our discussions, she spoke of an old book, which might have been of interest to me, and she had agreed to let me have it. That's a, a book lie. about what? Ancient occultism. As you are aware, I am a doctor of theology. You might have come across some old books in her belongings, perhaps? Ooh. Let's try let's try psychology again. The least one can say is that he doesn't beat around the bush. Sarah never travels without a few books. What does the one you're looking for look like exactly? It resembles a grimoire. It's divided into seven parts, each one individually locked. It was made in such a way that if someone tried to tamper with it, the sheets would be permanently tarnished. It's a unique copy. There's only one. The mere mention of cool. it makes his face light up. Well, I'll take a closer look, but I can't promise you anything. You seem very upset. Is it so important to you, this book? Well, it's, uh, it's the search of a lifetime. What can I say? Every time I move closer to it, it seems to slip away at the last minute. I was very surprised to learn that your mother had it in her possession. I thought it was with a certain von Borchert in Paris. Do you know him? Wait. He... His only immunity is occultism, but he's vulnerable to diversion. So none of these are going to... Hmm. Hmm. Indeed. One of your close friends? Uh, no, not really, but we were close once. Precisely over the case that concerns us now, because he claimed to have the book I'm looking for. Another dishonest person. 
What can you say? Can't trust anyone these days, huh? No. No. You can't. I hope I've been able to satisfy your curiosity, Mr. Von Volner, and that you succeed in finding what you're looking for. Oh, and so do I. And now, what if you told me who you really are working for, instead of keeping up this pretense? I beg your pardon? We both know what you're looking for, Von Volner. You're the one who Von Bertrand was planning to sell it to. For centuries, all those who have come into contact with the Al Azif have bitterly regretted it, Monsieur de Richet. You are playing a dangerous game. Please know that I am working for someone who does not appreciate anyone poking around in his business. Let me guess. Oh no. Um. I, w I wanna say the I want to say the king of Prussia. I don't think it's home. Your dear king, I should think. What? You mean Frederick William? Shit! Oh, my poor fellow. Shit. You are miles away. That stupid, pretentious puppet wields no real power. But seeing as you do not wish to be serious, so be it. Good luck to you. The king was a little obvious. But, I mean, it, I don't think it... Oh, man. Oh, Lord, this game. Okay. Mm. I have no space left. I'll retrieve it later. Oh, what's up, Napoleon? Monsieur Bonaparte, may I speak with you a moment? May we? No, guys, you can't save scum this game. The the only thing that I'd have to do, like, if, if I were to save scum this game, I would have to basically reload, like, the entire chapter, I think. Yeah, so, that's fine. Uh, Morgan DK with a $5 tip. Flat Stanley with a 400 charity cheer. Mr. Rias with a 200 charity cheer. Jay Gaming with a 26 ghost play with a thousand charity cheer. Adrated with the 100 and Cobes TV with the 105. Thank you guys. Thank you. Um, let's, let's Would you have any more information about the conference Lord Mortimer spoke of? Nothing at all. Mortimer is very committed to secrecy when it comes to his conferences. But given the presence of Monsieur Peru and ourselves, I think it must concern France to some extent. Otherwise, I doubt he would have invited three Frenchmen to his table, huh? Yep, that's that's how I'm taking this. That's how I'm taking it. Does expression go beyond the nightmare mean anything to you at all? Well, metaphorically, yes. It sums up the career of a soldier quite well. I doubt that is what you want to hear, though. I still think it's like a painting or a book or I'm something. For. Well, monsieur, if you are looking for a phrase book, Lord Mortimer must surely have one, given the Ooh. number of books he has. You ought to check in the library of the tower. You never know. Ooh. 